Hi there, Jeff Roush here, and this is a quick lesson on how to photograph fireworks. Fourth of July is coming up. We all want to go to the park and photograph the fireworks. So here's kind of our watch list of things that we need to do and we need to know about in order to do this right. Number one, the camera has to be mounted on a tripod. You cannot handhold a camera and shoot fireworks because the exposures are way too long. So if you don't have one of these, Borrow one, steal one, or go buy one for this event because you cannot do this without that. Secondly, make sure that the autofocus on your camera is turned off. Now this gets kind of tricky because cameras like this, even though this is an expensive one, if I have the autofocus turned on, it will not fire until I turn it off or until it focuses on something. So uh, what I would do in a case with this camera, I would focus on something far away, let it autofocus, and then shut it off, then don't touch the focus mechanism at all after that. That way the camera will be pre-focused at a distance and you'll be able to photograph the fireworks properly. Thirdly, you want to set your camera on the manual mode. If you've never done this before, this is going to be new ground, but one of the settings on the dial on top is going to be the M setting, which is manual. This allows us to set the next two or three settings by ourselves, which we need to do to photograph fireworks. Once you've found the manual setting, you want to then look for the control to set the f-stop. The f-stop needs to be set on 5.6 or f8. Either one of these will work. 5.6 is the preferable. Some point and shoot and smaller cameras don't have 5.6. You'll be using f8, which is fine. Set your shutter speed then at at least two seconds long. You'll see that I have it listed here as two seconds. Sometimes it may be longer than that, and you may find that when you're photographing the fireworks, your camera's closing before it's done. If that's the case, then you want to extend this time to three, four, five, even eight seconds if you need to, to catch the whole event. The last thing to make sure you have set properly is the ISO. This is the camera sensitivity to light. Make sure it's set on around 200. Now the whole idea here between around fireworks is to create a nice composition in the sky where you have this firework doing this type of a deal. So once you get all this stuff set up, you need to make this frame in the sky somewhere. You need to pick a spot where you think they're going to be so that when you fire your camera, they've entered that area. You can't follow them. You just have to frame it and hope that they stay in the box. So it's a good idea to watch the first few to see where they're going to be in the sky and set your zoom lens accordingly so that you capture the right area. If it's set wrong, zoom in or out to make your, your uh, square bigger or smaller to capture the whole thing. Now different photographers do these different ways. <clears throat> Some like to catch the rocket as it comes off the ground here. Then they like to catch the explosion where it blows up and they like to then catch the plume. However you like to do it, you simply need to watch to press your button when that event starts and then hopefully your camera will stay open until the event is over. If you like to do it from here through the complete explosion and all the plumes, it's going to be longer than two seconds. You need to go maybe four seconds, sometimes five seconds. Remember that it doesn't really matter how long the shutter stays open because it's pointing at the black sky. It's not really recording anything. Keep in mind too when you create this frame in the sky for the fireworks to go in. Make sure there's nothing down here in the way of houses, buildings, street lights, skyscrapers in the background. All of that's going to be in your frame if you're not careful. So make sure you tip that camera up to the point where there is no horizon line in the bottom. You should be able to capture just the fireworks. It's pretty simple. Set your camera on manual, follow these little steps, and you should get some great firework shots. Good luck.